A mission is a year away, but preparations are continuing at Kennedy Space Center to launch astronauts deeper into space than any crew in more than 50 years. News 6's James Barbero joins us as the crawler transporter is now moving the mobile launch tower for the Artemis program ahead of critical testing. In about a year when we see the mobile launcher leaving the vehicle assembly building, NASA says it will also be rolling to launch pad 39B with the SLS rocket and the astronauts Orion crew capsule. For now, this roll to the pad is all about testing the mobile launcher. One, release! Including the escape system, similar to this system built for the space shuttle program, the Artemis II crew would also evacuate the pad like this if there is an emergency on launch day. As News 6 showed you last week, NASA has to connect these zip lines to the mobile launcher when it arrives at the pad. NASA says the mobile launcher contains all of the connection lines that will provide the rocket and capsule with the power and communications in order to launch how much effort it takes to actually go to the moon and come back alive and the number of people who are involved in that. I'm super impressed. As NASA prepares to test the mobile launcher, Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, Christina Cook and Jeremy Hansen are continuing their crew training. Last week we got to ask the crew about their 10-day mission flying around the moon in this capsule as soon as November 2024. I'm excited that it's going to lead to an Artemis campaign that's going to put people back on the moon in a sustained fashion. We're going to take what we learned there and go on to Mars. And with a top speed of just one mile per hour and stops planned along the way, NASA says the mobile launcher will reach the launch pad sometime Thursday. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. And remember, you can get updates on the Artemis II mission and all of the latest space news sent straight to your inbox. It's a part of our Covering the Space Coast and Beyond newsletter written by News 6's James Barvero and News 6 anchor Eric Von Anken. To sign up, just head to clickorlando.com newsletters.